In this video, I want to show you how to account for common stock. But before I do that, I have to explain to you what is par value. What is the par value of a stock? And before I do that, let me just talk in general about what is par value. Par value is like the manufacturer's suggested retail price, which is actually not a price at all. It's, it's just a list price. It's a starting price for negotiation. Um, it's not the price that has to be paid. For example, a book might have a price printed on the cover or on the dust jacket, but that doesn't mean that somebody has to pay that price. It's just a marketing ploy to manipulate the buyer into thinking that that's the price that they should pay, when in reality it's not a price at all. The price of something is what somebody is willing to pay for. Here's another example of par value. Let's go to the United States Mint, where they still mint uh, silver and gold coins, among other coins. Now, we can't buy coins from them unless they're special and very expensive. We can't buy them in bulk from the United States Mint. We have to go to... Uh, a gold dealer uh, to buy these coins. So let's go to Atmex. Atmex is a reputable uh, precious metals dealer where one can buy coins there that are gold or silver. Notice here the spot price. That's like the wholesale price for gold. But usually uh, when you buy gold, you have to pay a marked up price, a retail price. Notice the retail price here. Uh, if you want to buy one of these gold coins, you'll have to pay about $110 markup price to the dealer. Now let's look on the back side of this coin. It says here, print, this is, by the way, this is a 2024 American Gold Eagle. And the U.S. Mint uh, put here $50. Why did they do that? Well, like all manufacturers suggested retail prices, that's a psychological manipulation. Let's do a search. Why does the American Gold Eagle say $50? It says here, while their actual selling price varies based on the spot price of gold, these coins carry face values of $5, $10, $25, and $50. These are their legal values, reflecting their issue and monetized value as gold dollars, as opposed to standard bullion. Well, that's bull bullion ship. Now let's search for stock certificate par value. Let's click on a few of these and uh, find the par value. Here's an old example when they used to print these out. Now today in the online world almost everything is online and in electronic form and these certificates are not printed like they used to be. But here's one, 100 shares and the par value is 100, no that's one dollar. <laughs> Just one dollar. But that doesn't mean that this uh, the one share has to be sold for one dollar because the price of shares fluctuates daily but they still print some value I don't know why it's just a tradition to print a value let's look at another one here's General Motors this certificate was printed in 1981 and look at the par value a dollar and two-thirds of a dollar that's kind of random and that doesn't mean the stock sells for this price. The stock sells for a fluctuating price. Uh, here's a picture of um, General Motors stock um, over time. So it, it, it doesn't sell for the par value. Then why do you have a par value? No real good reason. It's just tradition and we just like to print numbers on things. Here's another example. Uh, the Stanwood Oil Corporation has a par value of $1.25. Here's our last one. The Walt Disney Company has a par value of one cent. 
in our textbook, the par value will either be $1 or $10 or zero.